The idea that sending ever-increasing numbers of students to university to do three-year traditional degrees, that that is in the best interest of the students themselves, in some cases, or of the economy, is to say the least questionable. Many people are going to university who perhaps might be better doing something else, like an apprenticeship for example. What we want to do is to ensure that people who go to university can afford to do so and benefit from it, but people who would be better doing something else can also afford to do that, because that might be better for them and better for the country. We are very good at producing graduates and not good at producing uh, a decent skill for most of the others who don't go to university. In 2012, there was an effort to try and create a market uh, amongst universities and degrees. But there isn't any evidence that there is competition uh, amongst universities uh, by way of the tuition fees that they charge. It's become clearer that people are incentivised uh, to go into higher education, to go to university, when that may not be the best option for them. Both um, universities and the schools have financial incentives to encourage students to do A-levels and go and do a traditional three-year degree. In practice, it might be better for many of these students to be able to be supported to do vocational and other higher education courses, which would enable them to find employment and make a contribution to the skill shortage which we have in our economy. The monopoly of the basic degree uh, taken post A level has crowded out everything else. Yet it is precisely in these areas that have been neglected and underfunded that our relative skill shortages are greatest. It's wrong that we spend around £10,000 on every university student and only around £3,000 on every FE student. So, what we have to do is uh, provide a much more uh, fair system of funding for further education, people who don't go to university. If you go to university at the moment, the funding follows automatically. If you go to further education, the further education college may have asked to put on a course and they've been told, no, you can't have the money. It's a rationed system. Our report is an appeal to the government to treat students fairly by giving students a clear indication of all the options that are open to them. We want to see parity of esteem between vocational learning and the more academic route. And we want the funding and the careers advice and other support to open students' eyes to all the opportunities that are there and to enable the higher education system as a whole to respond to those choices and wishes.